In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Stripe account test mode. Setting up a Stripe account in test mode is a key step for developers, business owners, and entrepreneurs who want to simulate payments and transactions before going live. This process allows you to try out features like payment flows, subscriptions, refunds, and webhook integrations without using real money or affecting your live data. Begin by opening your favorite browser. I have Google Chrome open in here. Now, type in here, dashboard.stripe.com and enter. In here, create a Stripe account if you don't already have one. During sign up, Stripe will ask you for basic business details, such as your country, business type, individual or company, email, and phone verification. However, you don't need to complete full verification like bank details to use test mode ASO. It's ideal for testing early in the setup phase. Once logged into your Stripe dashboard, look at the left hand sidebar and you'll see a toggle labeled view test data or simply test mode. Switch this on and your entire dashboard will change into a sandbox environment. While in this mode, you can use test API keys, test cards, and simulate real time payment events safely. Stripe also provides pre-built test card numbers like 4,242, 4,242, 4,242, 4,242 that you can use to simulate successful or failed payments depending on the expiration date, CVV, or card type you choose. To simulate a full payment flow, go to the Payments tab or integrate Stripe into your website or app using test API keys. You'll find the test publishable and secret keys under the developers inside the API keys section. Use these keys in your code or third-party tools like Webflow, Shopify, or WooCommerce integrations that support Stripe. Any transaction process while in test mode won't charge real money or require actual bank credentials. So you can fully experiment with checkout behavior, errors, or edge cases. Finally, remember that data created in test mode, like customers, products, and invoices, is kept completely separate from your live environment. When you're ready to switch to live mode, turn off the test toggle and use your live API keys instead. You'll also need to complete account verification by providing actual business and banking details to begin processing real payments. Yeah! That's it. Thank you for watching this video.